Hi, this is Chris Lesso. I've got a really controversial idea for you today. You ready? Everybody knows this guy, what this is. I saved up for one for months. I had a dishwashing job when I was a teenager, and I think I got a Dixon double bass pedal, and I think it was $185 or something. I saved up, saved up, saved up, got my double bass pedal. It was cool to check out, and I'm glad I did it, and I encourage everybody to check it out. This is about finding your own voice on the instrument. But today, the controversial idea, I'm sure I'm going to get a ton of mail about this and, and how this idea is terrible, but this is the case against double bass. The case against double bass. Now, let's think of the, the instrument, which is only about a century old drum set, coming from drummers that a lot of them did tap dancing and and of course jazz is really the root of the instrument and you think one foot bass drum one foot hi-hat and then of course Louis Belson was the first drummer to play double bass and it evolved and then of course the double pedal I think was invented in the 80s but I have so many students and I went through this too where you think you kind of just need it just to have it and really it's like one more one more thing on the drum set and the more things you have the more things you want to add and then it becomes about adding and do i think it's great to develop your left foot absolutely and i had a lot of fun trying out ideas for a few years on the drum set and i think it's really cool to check out but try getting rid of it when i deleted mine it it I took a little bit of a turn where it became not about adding things but about deleting and really questioning do I really need the, the pieces of this drum set to try to find my voice? Do I really need splash cymbals? You know, do I really need this double bass? Do I really need this number of toms? And I think I'm still in this process. I'm really inspired by seeing even Jojo Mayer recently and he's, he's deleted all his rack toms. He's got no rack toms anymore. I love this idea of deleting and I found that the more I deleted I started to become actually more creative and I think of maybe Picasso if you've heard of his blue period he painted only in blue for three years only in the color blue for three entire years and you can look that up as his blue period Brian Blade is another drummer where I'd see him do these gigs with Daniel Lenoir and some other artists, I think Wayne Shorter maybe, and he'd have only a ride symbol, only a ride symbol. I was really lucky to study with one of the great Yoda teachers of our craft, Jim Blackley, and he would torture his students, or empower or torture, I don't know which way you look at it. His students were playing 40 BPM, very slow ride cymbals, just and having you sing it so you're going dang, dang, just torturously slow. And you start to hear the tones of the ride cymbal and all the depth and all the possibilities that lie just within that one cymbal. So this is the case against double bass. When I got rid of mine, I started to think of ideas I could craft with just one bass drum and how it related to the the ideas going between the toms and I started to hear ideas that John Bonham did and other Tony Williams and drummers that only use one bass drum and I really think double bass gets in the way of so many drummers expressions that I see. I think there is maybe 10% of styles of music that require double bass and you really need it, but otherwise get rid of it and see how it empowers your playing and it allows your own true voice to come out. Be a minimalist, get into simplicity and help find your true voice and confidence in life and on the drum set.